Welcome to another video of Vinyl Attic. This is Chili and another record store day has come and gone and I uh, hope that everyone received and got what they wanted on their list. I certainly have and top of my list was this one, the Rolling Stones Beggar's Banquet. Now before I get into this, please don't forget to hit the like button comment on this video, share this video, and if you still haven't, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for future updates. Now, um, now that with that out of the way, yes, this was uh, the top of my list, of course, being a Stones fan. And this is pretty much in my top five albums of the Rolling Stones, and this is released originally in 1968, and was the one that followed all of their psychedelic kind of uh, albums. Uh, this is the one right after their ma Majesty's, uh, Satanic Majesty's Request. And uh, it was a return to Roots, Rock, and, you know, Down and Dirty, Rolling Stones, and with the original um, toilet cover, you know. And this would be, sadly, the last one with uh, Brian Jones while he was alive. He played, uh, he contributed very little in this album. He did play the nice slide solo on No Expectations. However, he would uh, reappear in um, uh, the Let It Bleed album. He'd be on two tracks, but of course, he was dead and gone by that point. This is the last album he was out with, which came out while he was alive. So, um... This is the one with Sympathy for the Devil, No Expectations, Dear Doctor, Parachute Woman, Jigsaw Puzzle, Side 2, Street Fighting Man, Prodigal Son, Stray Cat Blues, Factory Girl, and Salt of the Earth. Now, Salt of the Earth, uh, the lyric there is where they came up with this uh, color scheme. So, it's vinyl on swirling mass of gray, blue, black, and white. It's... Uh, Supposedly a lyric, it is a lyric from, from Salt of the Earth. However, not blue, the the line is swirling mass of gray, black, and white. So, But they put blue. I don't know why, but just so they can make it blue. But um, <clears throat> that is not in the lyric is that color. But here is the vinyl itself in all its glory. Now, this OB strip, you know, um, has been brought to my attention that some of the copies has it glued to the cover. And um, I was asked if mine was, you know, and no, it's unfortunate that, you know, um, it, some people that did get this album has that issue. And um, that was from Old Records Never Die at Old Record Never Die. Records Never Die uh, gave me a comment on that because his was uh, connected and uh, it's very unfortunate, you know, um, quality control, right? Keep it all consistent. Now here is, is the inside of that gatefold as we all remember this. So <clears throat> this is just another variant, another copy of this album. I don't mind purchasing it again just to collect them. And uh, this also came with a poster, a replica. And there you go. Obviously this is from the same photo shoot from the Hot Rocks album in the back of the cover. We have uh, Charlie Watch along this grassy area here and the rest of the guys up there. So this is just another shot from that photo shoot, which is really cool. And that, my friend, is uh, the Rolling Stones Beggar's Banquet. What are your thoughts on this, this new um, record store day release? 
Like I said, I'm going to have some other videos of other albums that I got from Record Store Day, you know, and um, I was very pleased by getting this. And uh, please leave me a comment below. What are your thoughts? And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.